Hi friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a late slide rest in KTRV5. On the right side you can see the completed assembled design of the late slide rest and on the left side you can see the different drawings which are required to complete the design. These are the drawings of different parts which are involved in the late slide rest and you can see the different part numbers for it. Say for example, one is a compound slide base. So if you come over here, the one drawing is a compound slide rest here. So in the same way, we have uh, around 11 parts in this particular uh, uh, diagram. And you can see the different 11 parts are being assembled. And you can see the section view, which is going to help us to complete the assembly once we have done the part design modeling. All right. Now let me just show you the compound slide base drawing so it's over here this is the completed drawing of the compound slide base the completed model and this is what we're going to design uh, what we are designing in this particular uh, part of the series and uh, let me just show you the work in progress which we have done till now so now we're going to drill a couple of holes in this particular part let me zoom into the drawing and this is what we're going to design All right. now we need to drill a hole of diameter 20 so it's pretty easy just select this face, give the whole command position sketch and use the dimensioning coincide this and what is the distance of that particular hole? It's from the top it's 19 so as I said before when you're doing the modeling make sure you're referring to the all all the drawings otherwise you make mistakes now this is of diameter 20 so give a diameter 20 and give up to next and that's it so we've got a hole over there now we need to drill two more holes here and here select this face go on holes position sketch and 24 distance from the center so that's 24 and the distance of 19 from the top come on the sketch and this time give a diameter of see here it's diameter M10 so just give a diameter of 10 and deep 15 give blind and depth 15 when you are in blind you won't be able to give a depth so we got another hole over there so you can select this face once again and position hole position sketch and in here just drag this hole somewhere over here and again give 19 and 24 come on the sketch and diameter 10 and depth 15 we got another hole over there <coughs> now we need to drill two more holes on the top over here so select this face give holes position sketch and just see over here which is on this side so at a distance of 12 and this should be coincident with this plane alright come out of the sketch now two oil holes diameter 3 diameter 3 ok and depth as we know it should be coming till here because this hole is to oil this uh, shaft over here so just give up to next okay and CSK 90 degrees diameter 8 come over here select counter bore counter sunk 90 degrees diameter 8 so angle diameter 90 degrees diameter 8 click on the preview and we got that hole over there 
Now we're going to do the same thing over here. Click on the hole, position sketch. Select these two planes. Coincidence at a distance of 12. Come over the sketch. And diameter 3. Type. Okay. Okay, I did a mistake over here because this hole is supposed to be drilled after we drill another hole over there. So just, uh, you know, delete this for now. And we need to drill another hole over here. So as you can see, the hole diameter is 15. Okay, so just select this face, hole, and position sketch. Click on invert view. Coincidence. If you're getting confused, just rotate it in places the way you want. And here, this is at a distance of 19, so select this at a distance of 19 from this face. Okay, come out of the sketch, and then diameter 15, right? Diameter 15. Okay, preview. Okay, you need to select the simple hole and diameter 15. I'll do the trick. Okay, we got uh, another hole over there. Now we can simply go to this face, give hole, position sketch, and go inside it, and then give a distance of 12. And then you can see this hole is of uh, diameter 3 diameter 3 this is up to next counter sunk angle and diameter 90 degrees and 8 diameter okay we got that hole drilled over there and all the holes are drilled <coughs> so I hope this design is uh, complete no it's not complete there is one more thing that we need to take care of if you uh, see over here you can see that uh, from this face it's 16 that means that uh, see if you see this front part protrudes a little outside it's 13 from the base so that means that uh, we need to select this face here and give padding of uh, a distance 3 so that uh, we get the complete design and uh, that's it and we have completed the design of the compound slide base in the uh, late slide rest alright and in the next part of the tutorial we'll be designing another part of the slide uh, late slide rest maybe the second part which is this okay, we're gonna design that the this particular part right here and it comes uh, to this hole here that's the screw spindle alright and if you have any doubts or clarifications regarding this part of the tutorial please comment below on my video and I'll be getting in touch with you if you have any CAD projects you can write to me at kitia.pro.user c-a-t-i-a.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting in touch with you as soon as I can thank you so much for watching and stay tuned guys